Greetings of peace. My name is Ram Hotep L, broadcasting on behalf of the number 13, SignsAstrology.com, where we last longer and go harder and stronger. On this particular episode, I'm going to talk about the alien agenda. I've been getting a lot of emails and people have been asking me, what's going on with the ETs, Ram Hotep? You really haven't really discussed what's going on like as far as right now with the ETs. And you know I got to do it because this is what we specialize in on this particular channel. We talk about extraterrestrials. We talk about alternative information. The stuff that you're not just going to turn on the television and get. This is what we do here. You see, it's a war going on. And I covered this a little bit when I talked about my uh, government shutdown video. And I talked about the Andromedans and the war that's going on. However, I got a little more information. I got some more downloads last night. And I got some things that I want to reveal to you guys about this battle that's taking place. Because no matter how you look at it, you're in it. If you're watching this video, you are involved in this battle. And it's up for you, it's up to you to choose which side you're going to side with. Which side do you belong on? See, it's two groups that are battling right now and what these two groups have done is is that they've created slaves I call them slaves and these particular slaves are doing battle for these particular groups so you can almost look at it like say for instance if me and you were playing chess me and you watching this video and me and you are battling each other on the chessboard and it's really a battle of the minds however we're using these pieces to fight the war for us and each piece has certain types of moves, certain types of angles, certain positions that they hold. And it's up to the mind to utilize this piece so that it can effectively win the war. And that's what's going on right now. If, you, if, we're, if you're in this body and if you're trapped in this flesh, which we all are because you're watching this video, but I do got some subscribers out here that are actually full-fledged aliens, so I'm not going to even say that. but. Most of us are trapped in this body and we're subject to the flesh and we're subject to what's called the oversoul or the higher mind or the universal mind. However, when you start to study the universal mind, you'll find out that there's groups of aliens and extraterrestrials that can tap into this universal mind. So what's going on is, is that you have the Andromedans, which I talked about. And they're going to war with the reptilians right now. And the reptilians, I'm going to really break it down for you to help you to understand it. See, the reptilians in the Bible are represented by God. When you read about God in the Bible and say God did this and God did that, that's really talking about the reptilians. And the Andromedans are represented by the snake or the serpent. And this particular serpent, we call Dambala Wido. Dambala Wido. And Dambala Wido, when you study in Voodoo, which I'm going to do a whole segment on Voodoo, so I'm not going to talk too much here. But when you study Dambala Wido and Voodoo, you'll find out that Dambala Wido is the head serpent. It's the, the papa of serpents. And when you read the Bible, and you read from the perspective of the Bible, you'll see that the serpent is vilified. The serpent is demonized. The serpent is made to be evil. But when you look into what the serpent was actually doing, you'll see that the serpent was really the hero. The serpent was here for the underdog or those particular, the people. So the serpent came to the woman in the book of Revelations. I mean, I'm sorry, in the book of Genesis. The serpent came to the woman and he promised the woman that if she ate from a certain tree, she would have infinite knowledge. And you notice that God gave you knowledge. He did give you knowledge, but God only gave you knowledge of the things that he wanted you to know about. So this is the basis of the war. You talk about war of Armageddon and the war between good and evil and the war of the end days, the apocalypse. We're in those days and times right now, and it's going on right now. You can turn on the television to see it. And what's going on is, is that the reptilians have had control over this planet for a long period of time. 
the reptilians have been ruling this planet to a point where they've basically took the place of God they took the place of master and they've done it so good to a point to where you don't even believe in a reptilian is God when most people think about God they think it's some spirit or they think it's some abstract entity and you can just pray to God and you're gonna get all of your prayers answered but when you start to research God and if you notice every time they reference God they reference God as some form of a man or some form of an entity with legs or some form of a being they give them these attributes that men have the all-powerful the all-wise the benevolent and they give God these powers and these attributes and this is because God is a real life entity that exists in the centers of the earth and the caves of the earth and the cracks of the earth of which there are eight caverns that belong in the earth but also God exists on the surface of the earth as well and what happened is that God is a form of a basically like a it's a, a collective entity and what these reptilians have done they've gotten smart and they've gotten to the point where they begin to clone people and they mastered this and when you study the stories of the Anunnaki and things like that what people fail to realize is that the Anunnaki just means those that came from the heavens to earth. And this is because when God first came to this planet, he, he, was the, he was the minority or she was the minority. And over time, this man or this woman, because it's dual, well, a lot of these reptilians, the oldest ones are actually asexual. So when they came to this planet, they were the minorities and they weren't the majority. So they had to come and conquer and take over this planet and take this planet from a group of beings that were actually the real life heirs to this planet and the beings that were the real life heirs to this planet were the worshipers of Dumbala Wido Dumbala Wido and Dumbala Wido the best way to understand Dumbala Wido is, is that this represents the serpent energy or the Kundalini energy and this is the real life God like when you talk about this is the real life most higher the real life supreme being what most of you know as God is really a reptilian the attributes that you describe of as God is really a reptilian even when you talk about Yahweh and Jehovah as you've heard me say in my videos Yahweh and Jehovah just means God of war or deity of war and this is because this new being this reptilian being that came to this planet he had to bring and wage war with the planet so that he or she, because it, it, like I said, it's an asexual, so that he or she could take control and subdue the planet. So once they got control of the planet and other planets, because it didn't start here, they began to partake in cloning. They began to take partake in cloning. And they began to build up a group of soldiers. And each soldier had a different function. So these are your chess pieces. And they learned how to do this, and they were able to do this because they were able to tap into what's called the Oversoul. Of the universal mind so that's one group of beings now you have the second group of beings that are called the Andromedans and the Andromedans might seem to be different from Dumbala Wido in his group but the Andromedans are actually working for Dumbala Wido in his group and why do I say this now when you heard me do the video on the Andromedans you remember me saying that the Andromedans are a group of beings that they don't go to war the same way that the reptilians go to war. The reptilians are a warrior class. They've always been a warrior class. And the Andromedans, what they do is, is that they go to war through technology. They use technology. And there's different, there's a fourth dimensional technology and then there's a third dimensional technology. Now this type of technology that I'm speaking to you on now is actually a form of 3D technology. And this 3D technology is based on a higher type of technology. So what the Andromedans do is that they use a series of books, taps, and a series of, and they use information, essentially. And they take this information and they go to war with you through information. So that's what's happening right now. So there's a war between the reptilians who, they don't use information because they don't want you to know just about anything. The only thing they want you to know is, is what they want you to know. And that's representing the status quo right now. Those particular people that are in government, they're working for reptilians. This is why every time certain people, it's only certain people they monitor and got their eye on. This is, this is why every time certain people begin to speak and say things, the reptilians got to try to, they use force to try to stop them. 
and they'll they you get they got a series of ways they do it. First, they'll try to hurt you or wound you or something like that. And if you keep going with it, they'll try to actually physically move in on and kill you, and physically take your life. And that's what's going on right now. So the reptilians, they're realizing that what's going on now is that they're realizing that this whole brute force thing and taking somebody down by brute force doesn't work. So they want to take you down by brute force. So the second thing that they do is that they'll start to lie. And they'll start to tell you mistruths. They use the art of deception. See, what I'm really saying here is that the God of the Bible, and what you consider God in the Bible is really the devil. And what you consider devil in the Bible, or the evils in the Bible is really God. So what happens with the reptilians is that they'll since they, they can't just come out and outright kill certain people. Certain people, they'll just 86 you. If you don't have any influence, you don't have any power or things like that, they'll just you know, they'll just come over and drop a bomb on you like they did people in Benghazi. They go and kill innocent people. Because that's that's this is what they do. They they need blood to exist. But if they know that you have a little bit of power, influence, and things of that nature, they have to use disinformation to try to stop you. So they'll take the information and they'll use certain information, which is really disinformation, to stop you. They have to crucify your character or they have to partake in what's called manslaughter. So they have to kill your character. And they do this in various ways. They'll start off with your bank accounts and things of that nature then they'll move in into your family and start to tell your family lies about you so that they can isolate you and make you an island if you're a real big public figure they'll use the media even a lot of times and they'll use the media to try to attempt to crucify you but what's happening is that it's not really working see they've been doing this this is not new what the reptilians have to do to kill people and to murder people and to, and to do the, the treacherous things that they do it's nothing new about that but what's happening now is that you got this group of andromedans and they're bringing balance to the situation and this group of andromedans they use they fight with strictly information so it's like infowars for instance and different websites like that these websites whether they know it or not they probably don't know it but they're backed by the andromedans because they're using new information and it's relevant it's all truth they're not lying but they use the truth to win wars and it's working right now so this is what the new battle and the new war is all about so it's the andromedans versus the reptilians and now what's happening is that the andromedans and the reptilians or I, I should say the reptilians have to even go to the andromedans a lot of times and use their certain formats and, and different things like that so that they can go to war against certain people and this is why they're losing a lot of wars because they, they, they don't have as much information as the Andromedans. They don't have as much knowledge. Remember, they're more of a brute force type of being. If you even study a reptile, a reptile functions more so off of instinct. What Dembalo Wido and what he teaches his followers is to function off of knowledge. So this is why in the Tree of Life, when you study Adam and Eve and things of that nature, this is why he said that I'll give you knowledge of good and evil and therefore you'll be immortal. Why would you be immortal? It's because you'll know the difference between good and evil. So all of you, especially young people, see I'm making this video for young people because they want to shut 13 Signs Astrology all the way to fuck down. Why do, why do they want to shut 13 Signs Astrology all the way to fuck down? Is because 13 Signs Astrology, they can't put us into a box. They can't call us Muslims. They can't call us Christians. They can't, even the astrologers want to stop, stop 13 Signs Astrology because you're not doing Western Astrology. So they want to try to figure out an angle and a way to put us into a box so they can isolate us and shut us all the way, way the fuck down. Why? Because young people, they don't want you to wake up. These are old people, older, elder people that are influenced. They've been influenced by the reptilians because the reptilians started in the grays as well. The grays work for the reptilians. That's what you got to remember. So when you start studying these aliens, one group works for the other group. And that group works for the other group type of thing. But the zero time reference to the evils on this planet and those particular people that want to stop progress is coming from the reptilians and then they commission the greys who are scouts and then the greys get humans to get on their side and then the dumb humans which are mostly people that were born prior to not all not all 
but mostly people that were born prior to 1972, they could easily recruit those people because those people already have a lot of fear in them because they've been initiated into the status quo before the Andromedans came to this planet. See, the Andromedans, they've been to this planet before because remember I said that the reptilians took this planet actually from the Andromedans, believe it or not. They conquered this planet and they won the war before in the past, so the Andromedans had to retreat. But the Andromedans started coming back and started incarnating in the star seeds. So after 1972, they started coming back and they started introducing technology. And technology makes it, it evens out the playing field. Because now a person can make a YouTube video and get just as much clicks and views and get just as much followers as a person that's on television. And the reptilians don't like that. See, before they had a pack with the Andromedans and the reptilians, they were getting technology from the Andromedans and they were able to keep the closed circuit technology away from it, out of the hands of certain people. So that made government real, real big. So this is so what's going on is that government and this is this is there's different types of governments, but this is the the fictitious government or the corporate government. See, the corporate government is angry because they're losing a lot of power. So they have certain people that they're targeting in this war. And there's different pieces in the war. I mean, some of you are may just be pawns in the war. Some people may be kings. Some people may be queens. Some people may be bishops. Some people may be castles or what you would call rooks, like chess pieces. So there's different pieces or whatever. But at the end of the day, what they want to do is that they want to shut down the new movement. And the new movement represents those class of people that aren't teaching any type of religion, any type of, they can't put them into a box. They're teaching a new paradigm. So it's a war going on. It's a battle and it's getting real heated and it's about to get ugly. For those particular people that have been doing your research, you can go online and look up and Google the blackout. And that's, I'm going to do a video on that too as well. But the blackout is also a part of this war. Because it's getting to the point now where they want to take away electricity from certain people. They want to take away people's internet connections. Like even here I speak to you now and I pay for and put money into different hotel rooms and different things like that. And what happens is I'll book a room and then they'll shut the whole internet down so I can't make a video. When I come. Only when I come. If I'm not here it's cool. But as soon as Rob Hotep come into place, everybody's internet is out. Or they'll hack into a website so I can't get a hotel. They'll go in and hack into my credit card and put a block on my credit card so I can't buy a website. So they're using electricity. They want to they counteract the war and use electricity and things like that so that they can crucify the new movement. Because they know that the young people are going to be the heirs and they're going to be the ones that take us into what they call in the Holy Quran of Mecca. is something called the hereafter. And the hereafter, what it's really talking about, the Muslims say that this means heaven on earth. This is what they teach. They teach that the hereafter is when basically after, you know, the wicked are removed from the earth, there's going to be heaven on earth. But what they fail to mention, and sometimes they do mention it, so I'm not saying they fail to mention, but what most people don't understand about that is, is that the hereafter can only come after the jihad takes place. And that's what's going on right now. This is the jihad or this is the battle or this is the struggle because we have to struggle to get to the hereafter. And the sad part about it is, is that those particular people that you're fighting against, young people, I'm talking young people now, those particular people that you're fighting against are people that are older than you. These are your elders and these are the people that you looked up to and that you respected. And you're going to find out that they're going, but they're jealous of you. And they're going behind your back and they're taking money out of your inheritance and they're setting up young people for sacrifices so that they can inherit their money. Why? Because the old people have pillaged and fucked up this planet. Government has stolen from so many different people, older people in government. See, when I say government, I'm talking about the people in government. So you got some people, they talk about government haphazardly and they don't like to put names on things. Now you got some good people in government and Andromedans are putting people in government to help us young people. And there are some people that were born prior to 1972 that were sent here to help us. And these were called your scouts. See, what happened was is that when an alien race comes back to this planet, no matter what race or group it is, they send scouts first. And these scouts are born a little bit early. And these scouts are like forerunners or those particular people that paved the way so that when the mass group comes, they'll have some form of support from an older patriarch or a person that knows the game and that can school you into the game. So that's what I represent. Like, I, like I'm an indigo, but I'm kind of like a scout for the crystals, though. So I'm like an indigo mixed with a crystal child because I'm not sim I'm not just like the indigos because a lot of your indigos, people my age, are they're, they're your enemies, too. Don't get it twisted. You got people, my cousins and people I grew up with, they want me dead. 
They want a motherfucking bullet in my head. I'm keeping it real with you. Like they can't wait to the day. They're gonna celebrate. They think they're gonna celebrate the day that Ram Hotep is murked or 86, but that's not gonna happen. Or they're gonna celebrate the day that 13 Signs Astrology, the channel is shut down. They they wanna celebrate that day and they're gonna clap and dance and for joy because they don't want to see this movement happen. And it's rooted in jealousy. But jealousy is really just a weak emotion that the reptilians use to keep control even over them. So if you're jealous of a person, it's not really you. It's that you're being manipulated by an energy force or energy emotion, which is an emotion. And you're being used basically as a tool and a vessel to block another person's blessings so or blessings. So what's happening here is that you do have a group of elders, like I was saying, that are scouts that are here to help you young people and they don't want to see your inheritance blocked and this group of elders it, it's not a lot it's not a vast majority of them though most of the elders in government and things like that don't really give a fuck to be honest with you or whatever but you do have a small percentage of a small group and i'm going to talk more about this group when i do the adjustment bureau video that are they're here to monitor and just to see what happens they're more like referees they're not going to get too involved but at the same time they'll make sure that you know people play by certain types of rules or they play by what's called universal law so you got a group of people though as far as that are controlled by reptilians that they don't want to see you have anything and that's what the war is really about the war is to supplant the new movement or the new truth see at first it was hip-hop it was hip-hop that was the first version of 4d technology that we were able to bring to this planet like a lot of young people hip-hop was birthed around 1973 actually right when the star seeds got here so you had hip-hop that was that came in first and hip-hop was they fought hip-hop and fought hip-hop and fought hip-hop to a point now to where they made the hip-hoppers get up under control as far as the musical aspect of hip-hop and they control what type of music is made and who says what and all of that so they mastered that form of technology so now you got where you got it to where hip hop has now gotten smarter, the hip hoppers are gotten smarter and they're merging slowly. Hip hop is merging into politics. And this is what they do not want. This is what really what 2013 is about. And when hip hop merges into politics and religion, it's gonna X out at 86 all religions. There's not gonna be any Islam, Christianity, or Judaism because people aren't gonna believe in that. Why? Because you guys don't believe in aliens. So you guys wanna block the alien agenda. And as long as you you want to do that because for one thing you don't want to know you don't want the world to know where you're getting your power from so they're going to continue to teach you misinformation disinformation then they're, they're going to try to block hip-hop from getting into politics why because they want people to keep depending on they want people to depend on government and entitlements and programs and they call that liberalism see they don't want you to become more conservative and they don't want you to, to learn how to preserve yourself or they don't want you to be civilized because I was taught when I was a Muslim that the first law of civilization is self-preservation and they don't want you to learn how to preserve yourself this is what the conservative movement is about or how to take care of yourself or to be a self-sufficient entity so they want to block that type of idea from politics they're like no just get a job just you know just go with the status quo and keep that going because if you guys if you young guys Keep in mind, this is about the young star seeds, the younger sisters and the younger brothers out there. If you guys embrace this doctrine, what are we going to have? What are we going to have? So this is why you see veterans. Like I got veterans, old ass men, veterans that want me dead. Straight up. I mean, they say it straight up. Like I hear them, overhear them talking to them when I'm on public transportation in different places. And they're like, man, I just can't wait to the day when that guy's not on YouTube anymore. Or I can't wait to the day when he shut down. Or I can't wait to the day when somebody puts a bullet in his head. Even to the point where they've converted some of my, even my teachers and people that taught me. And they're saying the same shit. They get on, on my Facebook page. They hack into my Facebook page, take that over. And try to use my Facebook page to, to make me to say things that I really didn't say. They hack my YouTube account in an effort to try to shut down my YouTube account. And things of that nature. They hate Google. They hate Google because Google's on the side of the Andromedans. Google represents the information age. They hate YouTube because YouTube is on the side of the Andromedans. They represent informing and teaching people and waking people up. Infowars. They hate Infowars because Infowars is waking people up. They want you back into the Bible. They want you locked into those books to a point where they're going to cause a fake war and a fake apocalypse to go down just so they can use that as a way to get rid of certain people. So I'm saying all that to say, you got to wise up, guys. You got to stay sharp. You can't let them convert you over to their ideas. 
because what's going to happen is you convert them or if you convert over to their ideas you're not going to have a future you're not going to have a future as far as a future of freedom and being able to say what you want to say and do what you want to do and progress the way you want to progress you're going to be basically a pawn in the game because a pawn can turn into a king so don't get it twisted like just because you may be a pawn right now you could turn into a king if you make it to the back rank but their goal is you got to know that you're at war and that's what this video is mainly about see if you don't know that there's a war going on outside that no man is safe from like my man mob deep in them was talking about if you don't know that then they got you they got you in their trick bag and they got you in their box because the greatest form of warfare is to have a war in in the state of people that don't even know a war is going on that's the greatest form of warfare so before you can embrace sovereignty and and economic freedom and people just want to go out and spend money and get you a girlfriend and get you have you a bunch of children you it's okay to do that but you have to know that you are at war you have to know if you're going to have these children you're raising up a, a, a group of warriors because they don't want to see the young people have nothing why because if the young people break away and start their own economies you guys are influenced by the andromedans and by the information age so you guys it's to the point where i was telling somebody on the train it's to the point where now these young people are so smart that they can take a cell phone and have nothing no money in their pocket but with this one cell phone they can turn into a billionaire just from having a cell phone they can take an app and just from having one app they can use this app to make a 10 million dollars off one app they don't like that that's that's genius why do you think they mark steve jobs steve jobs created a phone to where you can take over a jet with this phone and you can hack into a jet and hijack this jet and take over this jet so what the reptilians are doing they're smart they're going to manipulate you and use force and get you on their side by making you think well you got to work for us and you got to do this and they're going to pay you to do the same shit that you could have been doing for yourself and that's why they don't like 13 signs of astrology because i don't answer to anybody you can say what you want to say you got people out there saying that i'm i'm, I'm, I'm a butt boy and i'm watch gay porn i'm working for some homosexual i'm not no homosexual shit i'm my own man and that's what they don't like and they want to shut this shit down this is why i have thousands literally thousands of people for one man i'm bruce lee i'm bruce lee man i got thousands of people that stalk me around and follow me around to stop to stop this channel and this is what you're gonna have to go through if you want to make it through the shift and you want to make it as the the prima donna of star seeds if you want to make it as the supreme star seed the star seed that, that everybody talk about they want to be billionaires and all of that you're going to have to learn about technology but not only that stop using it for them use the technology for yourself build up your own empire build up your own surveillance system in your house save your family your family estate stop working for corporations and fictitious corporations and i got people that work for corporations that drive around stalking me just to see what i'm doing spies just to see what i'm doing or whatever and they could be and a lot of them are intelligent they use apps against me and stuff like that too but you could be taking these same apps and using these apps instead of working for the reptilians who are really in submission to the technology and free yourself from the reptilians and be working for the andromedans when the andromedans represents independence See, they're not going to get involved. That's what the Andromeda is. They'll give you the technology and they'll put it out there. They want to see, can the star seeds free themselves from the, the yoke of slavery of the reptilians? And can we win this planet back? Because what's going to happen is that we don't win this planet back. The reptilians aren't going to win. They're just going to kill everybody. It's, it's a self-extermination button that you can press. It's not a button, literally, but you can tap into the Kundalini energy of this planet. And if you manipulate this kundalini energy correctly, this planet will wipe off and rid itself of everything that's against it. And that's what's going to eventually happen. So either way, you're going to lose. So you might as well go out blasting. Might as well go out blasting if you're going to go out. But my thing is that I know the young people, we've already won the war. It's already been prophesied that we're going to win. And the only thing reptilians want to do is get in that head and get you to kill yourself and get you to stop yourself. So you got to know we're at war, people. And it's a war for your mind. You have to learn about the Oversoul. You have to learn about Dembaloido. You have to learn about opening your third eye. You're going to have to eat healthy and be pure because the reptilians are going to find your weakness and your vice. And they're going to use that against you. Whatever your weakness is, they're going to find it and they're going to exploit it. So you have to learn about your body and the chakras and things of that nature. Because when I talked about 4D technology, remember I said there's two forms of technology and I really didn't hit this point the way I wanted to because you guys know how to do on these videos. I just do I just do me but you have a 4d technology that is deeper than some cell phone because remember the 3d technology these cell phones were designed and patterned after the 4d technology 
So instead of you sending a text message to communicate with your friends or your girlfriends, or your lovers, you're going to have to learn how to use telepathy. You're going to have to learn how to use psychology, psychometry, excuse me. You're going to have to learn how to use clairvoyance. So that's the 4D version of technology. So instead of you having a television and you watch the news, you're going to have to learn how to make a television project into your mind and be able to read people and read the future based off this television that's projecting itself in your mind. You know the reason why they're never going to stop Ram Hotep and they can't stop me ever? I don't care who you are. Ever. I don't care the government, anybody. You know why they can't stop me and they can't stop Google and certain people? It's because they're in tune with this higher technology. They couldn't stop Einstein and different people like that. See us, we have to kill ourselves. People like us, the geniuses, the genies, those particular people that are in tune with 4D technology, they have to get us to turn in on ourselves and stop believing in ourselves. That's the only way they're gonna stop us. You see, that's the reason why they can never stop me. They'll keep doing the tax and the tax and I always keep coming back and back and I'll just multiply myself. That's what's gonna end up happening because the more they attack me, the bigger I look. And that's why they can't stop me is because I'm in tune with that type of technology. I eat a healthy diet. Right now, I won't even let a woman bring me down, man. They use females to try to bring you down because they know a lot of males they want. It's natural for you to want a woman or and things of that nature. So they'll send you a woman at you that's working for some reptilian agency. She doesn't realize it a lot of times. She just wants her little food stamps and paycheck. They'll get her to sleep with you over a period of time. Next thing you know, you have a baby. Then they'll tell the woman, take the baby. We'll pay you money. Child support. Don't just leave the man and make him depressed. And they'll take the baby and, and take the baby away from you and leave you. Or you might not even get her pregnant. You might, they might just find a woman that you like and get her to distract you from your mission and get you to drain your kundalini energy and your life force away on messing with this woman and sleeping with this woman because majority it's a lot of women out there that do want progress and things of that nature but it's easier to manipulate the nature of a woman because she's already emotional so this is why the reptilians love to use women to destroy people and even i mean i'm not like making the opposite sex or whatever like they're the enemies but i'm saying they tap into who you already are and use that against you that's what i'm trying to get you young people to see so if you don't want to be stopped you want to be like bruce lee master yourself if you go to war with yourself you beat the outside. If you master the war, the internal struggle, the internal jihad that's going on within, the jihad and the struggle without is going to be a piece of cake. So I'm here to educate you that we are at war. Don't ever forget it. If you want to win this war, you have to learn the science of mating. You have to learn the science of warfare, which is hand-to-hand -hand combat. You have to learn the, the, the war, the science of information, how information is disseminated. You're going to have to become a psychic. See, I can see around corners. If they're going to send a hitman, or they already tried to physically kill me for many times. I'm sure they may try again. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to keep doing video after video after video. They know that already. So they have to, like, use... Now they're on a stage with me where they use, you know, like, try to use the technology so I can't upload a video or some shit like that. But there's ways around that. Or they try to steal my money from me and tell me, get out this hotel, you can't come back. They try to make me broke. So they use conspiratorial tactics to try to stop me. But I, as long as you can see around corners... As long as you know when something's going to happen, as long as you get a vision in your dreams of something that's going to happen before it happens, you're going to be the victor. You're going to be successful. So young people, don't give up. Don't quit. You are the hair. You are the Jesus that was prophesied to come back. That they talk about Jesus that was going to come back. When I did that video on Jesus and I said more fire, more fire, more fire, that's you. And know that Jesus was a warrior. He didn't come back to teach and to help people and all that. Jesus came back to take back what was his which is this earth. Jesus works for Dembalo Wido. And that's who you are. So wake up, star seeds, crystal children, indigos, and I'll do my video on my next segment on the Blu-ray babies. So until we meet again, I'll leave you in peace.